Hey, good morning. Um, first of all, it's it's a extremely difficult uh, situation for the Ghana Police Force, especially the ranks at Brigdam Police Station. This is a great loss of an asset to the police force and to the people of our country. I want to thank the, the police force, the leadership of the police force, for, and the minister and his team for the efficient and quick way in which they organize themselves to have continuous service to the people. And that is all the service that the Brigham Police Station offers. With such a huge crisis on their hands, we never lost the ability to deliver service from the station to the population. So I want to start by thanking all the ranks also who came out from the Brigham Police Station, all the ranks to assist in trying to save uh, this investment, this building. Well, let me say that I'm, to say I'm not bothered, I would not be a true reflection of how I'm thinking. I'm bothered because this is not the first public asset we have lost. Now the investigation into this fire will go on and we'll hear about the results. I saw the results of the fire from Mavaruma when I returned from the UN. Why am I bothered? This is coming on the heels of threats made on the capital city from New York. And this is not the first time. And I'm not going to take this lightly. I'm going to ask for international support to investigate, to follow any lead. And to ensure that our capital remains safe and stable. So, oh, as I said, the investigation for this file is still, is still ongoing, but I'm concerned. And I think out of concern, out of an abundance of caution, at this very early stage, we will not spare no effort in reaching out for international support. The second issue I want to address is that of the fire service. We have been making tremendous investment in the last year in the fire service. And I've made this very clear. In this country, people would have to be held accountable for their actions. We can be making investment in state apparatus and state institutions and do not get the results from those investments. The response of the fire service was poor at its best yesterday. And as president, I hope the fire service can acknowledge this because if you can't acknowledge the problem, you can't deal with it. It upsets me because Minister Ben will tell you the type of investment we're making. Their state of readiness when they come on the scene. Many business people around the area called. They called me directly during the course of the fire, offering different support, including access and source of water. One of these men has an entire pool and a well that flows continuously. And the fire service was not in a position to make use of that offer. 
this lackadaisical approach, inefficient approach, and a different approach cannot continue. No, it cannot continue. So there are two issues we have to address. Well, there are three issues. The outstanding work by the ministry and the police force in ensuring we never lost the ability to service the population. That is most commendable. The second issue is a question that people are asking, the source and whether this, is, this can evolve into a problematic situation given the context of what took place in the U.S. and the statements that were made in the U.S. So we have to ensure that the population is confident that that is not the case. That is why we have to seek international support too. That's the second issue and the issue we'll be dealing with. And the third issue has to do with the performance of the fire service. Has to do with the performance of the fire service because we cannot continue to make investments. Yesterday evening, I asked the head of the diaspora unit to get me a list of all the persons in the diaspora who would have retired as fire chief in large cities, whether it be Toronto, California, so we can bring the, those expertise home to infuse A level of professionalism because this is about professionalism too the state can't provide you with basic things as safety equipment for you to wear as fire officers and you turn up without them it means that you are not in any state of readiness to respond to an emergency It means from a personal level, you're not taking the job that you're entrusted to do with a level of seriousness that is necessary. When you're part of an emergency service, you're entrusted. You're entrusted with certain responsibility when you're part of an emergency service. So, on the third issue, I've asked the minister to put together a team to investigate. a team that would investigate the response to this fire. This is less than a than three minutes walk to our main fire station, right? We cannot continue as a country and as a people to not address these issues. We can't continue to make investments and not have the returns on the investment. Whether it's in the public service, in the hospitals, the inefficiency has to be weeded out. If you don't want to perform public service, then do the honorable thing. Don't take a job in the fire department and believe it's a part-time job. Don't take the government assets, safety gear, and leave it home when you're an emergency worker.
How much money we spent already in the last year on fire? Hundreds of millions of dollars. Hundreds of millions of dollars. And to put it crudely, you can't respond to events in your backyard. And the response is not about asset, you know. The response is about attitude. It's about commitment. It's about discipline. It's about professionalism. It's about being in a state of readiness. Look how quickly the police responded to the challenge. I'm publicly putting the fire service on warning. This cannot and will not be tolerated. To the population, I've been getting snapshot of all the speculations around. People are concerned based on the threats that were made. We are going to get the international support to determine exactly what is happening. We are going to get that. So, this morning I want to personally thank the ranks for the continued commitment, for the work that they will continue to do out of this location. The minister and his team We've already committed to the team resources. Today they're going to examine some other temporary but more permanent measures in terms of asset acquisition to support the more comfortable delivery of service from the police force. We are now I've asked them to look at containerized office and also reconfiguration of containers into office type. Facility to support their operation. And at the same time, I want to assure the public that I've heard them also, and we are going to examine the response from the fire service in its totality in its totality and i've expressed my own views on the response based on factual positioning of what was happening and based on the type of calls i received to support the work that they were unable to take the support that they were unable to take because of their state of readiness. Thank you.